Super Tuesday, Donald Trump has pretty much dominated all but one state against Nikki Haley. Pretty much cementing his name as the front as the Republican nominee for president of the United States in the 2024 election. Not surprising, not surprising at all, considering that the Republican Party and Republican voters are completely, what's the word I'm looking to use? Misinformed, willfully informed, blissfully ignorant. All the words actually fit them when they're trying to support a man like Donald Trump. Not only that, Republican Mark Robertson is, is a, has won the North Carolina Republican primary for governor of North Carolina. Now, Mark Robertson, an African-American, is a staunch anti-Semitic. This guy hates the LGBTQ to the point where he actually believes that God himself has brought them to earth to fight against LGBTQ rights. This man mocks mass shooting incidents in this country. He believes, and worse yet, he believes that reparations should be paid to descendants of slave owners. Slave owners, not the slaves. Slave owners. And as I said earlier, this man is African American. And he sings evil destructive, racist stuff like this. But it shouldn't be a surprise. That's what you have to be in the Republican Party. Racist, bigoted, and all that and all that evil nonsense to be accepted for the Republican Party. And that is, describes Mark Robinson perfectly. The question is, will he actually win governorship? Remember, North Carolina is a sovereign state, and they're not exactly, um, how should I put this, they're not exactly welcoming of African Americans in, in positions of political power. I don't, like, I don't like talking that way, but unfortunately, that's the reality. But get back, getting back to Super Tuesday, I'm not surprised at any of this at all. Trump won a good portion of the states. Hey, it's all but one against Nikki Haley. The fact is, we need to be focused on getting to the ballot box this November. Trump is going to be the presidential nominee for the Republican Party. And God help us if he actually wins the election. Because he's already given us a, bl- a road map as to what his second presidency is going to be. Do nothing for the people. He might not even he might not even close the close the border between Mexico and the United States. Do nothing for the people unless they cross them. I guess they cross him personally. Then American freedoms would be curtailed one after the other. Freedom of speech, gone. He already attacked freedom of speech in his first presidency, when athletes started taking the knee during the national anthem in protest of police um, brutality, he already took uh, he's already taken steps against the First Amendment by threatening to lock up journalists that ask him hard hard questions, questions that he as a politician should be able to answer. Religious freedom, gone in this country. They're replaced by the dogma of Trump. Mike, General Michael Flynn has already made that abundantly clear as to what he wants. As, as, let me put it this way, as to what he wants Donald Trump to do. But to make things worse, Trump is willing to sell out our country to Russia, to China, as long as he can get a profit out of it. As long as he can get that, those 30 pieces of silver from the, uh, from the Roman Empire, almost like Judas, give me that 30 pieces of silver, silver, I'll betray my country, just as Judas betrayed Jesus. 
And now, more and more Republicans, more and more of the MAGA, especially the alpha males, feel entitled to do what they do, especially when it comes to me. This photo, and I hope to God this doesn't get demonetized or censored, but this photo was posted by an alpha male trying to, still trying to persuade people that I'm a pedophile. Even superimposing my face on a, on a white guy's body with a tattoo. Obviously, I don't have a tattoo, and I may be a little husky, but I'm not that fat. This is what they do. And Donald Trump has empowered these particular people to do this shit. So the only way I can know how to fight these people, beyond reporting them and all that, under the authorities, which I've already done, the only way I can do anything about any of this is the ballot box. We still have our right to vote for now. And make no mistake about this, if Donald Trump does win the election in 2024, he will take that right away from all of us, not just people of color, but from all of us who don't bow and submit to him. We are on the cusp of an American dictatorship with Donald Trump driving the rain, driving it. We have the power to stop this through our votes. These people want to go to war with blood. I'm going to war with the ballot box. I choose my weapon, the vote, which is powerful than any gun out there. Yeah, you can shoot me, you can kill me, but you can't kill my vote. You can shoot me. I'm like Denzel Washington up in this piece. You can shoot me, but you can't kill me. CTP, you know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.